guys, it's Fuzzy Gamer 562 with Lo No with not with Lone Savior with Nerdy Gamer 562 slash Lone Savior. Yep. And with Kevin. Funny got to Shut go. up! <laughs> okay, so we we were kinda making this video at night because it, it was gonna be more scary. And I finally put Netflix on for Eden. But let's not get on to that stuff. We are gonna be doing a challenge. So um, the whole point of this challenge is oh by God, um is about uh we're gonna do scary uh, we're gonna see scary stories and if we chicken out then Whoops. the person loses and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the time in my watch. Um so whoever takes the longest <gasps> wins, whoever takes the shortest Losers, so hope you guys what? enjoy the video. And I'm freaking waiting for this connecting. And I hope you can pause wait, this wait. video. Wait, you but guys. Let's take a selfie first. Okay, wait, I take you guys, um, you guys can see this. If I would suggest you don't watch this at night. But we are doing it. Just so we, have we don't care if we have nightmares. Kevin, let's get on with the show already because then it's going to take too long. Alright. So far, it's been a minute and this thing's taking forever. Come on. Put it on high. Put what high? The video. Oh yeah. I'm never so, oh, so skip the video. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the description how long to wait. So so uh, if you guys don't want to hear our blogs and crap, then might as well just chill. skip it. All right. While this is loading, sync up. No full screen. Dun, 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 dun. My watch. Gonna up. eat Cheetos. Gonna eat Cheetos. Kevin, okay, you should start. You should start a channel. I don't wanna. About you in school, or you guys should make a video on school. Like school no. sucks. God, this teacher sucks. God, my friend sucks. Oh, the friends. No, <laughs> but but whenever the teachers see our phones, they like take it away. Wow. So so there's no phones allowed. And I'm eating a candy wax. So. Shut up. Nobody cares. Oh, they're eating your boogers. I can see your boogers. No. my evil laugh. I'm <laughs> a sexy skateboard. We have to do an ollie. And I suck at ollie. Oh no, I can't ride my skateboard. Kevin, you don't have a long guy. No, I said I'm putting. I'm gonna put the video in the description. I mean, I don't put the. I got you. Hello. Sorry guys, this lighting is super bad. Shut up, you already said that on the next All right, bloopers. video starts. Yeah, yeah, and not a blooper anymore because video, I like... Video starts. Yeah. Um, hopefully they're going to be making more videos. Hold on, hold on, don't start, don't start! Wait, no, don't start it! Wow. I'm really freaked out right now, you guys. Hey, don't hit the camera down! No, I'm going to put the time in the screen. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, start. All right, all right, we're back, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry. So okay, so I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Hey, put it up high. I did. Curious and confident brother's idea. I was scared shitless. <laughs> the door was locked, as expected. I felt a bit of relief, thinking we might just go home. But my brother made a shocking move next. He grabbed a plank of wood mm -hmm. laying in the grass and began smashing the already chipped window. Eventually, there was enough of an opening to unlock it and slide it up completely. We hopped inside and began cranking those noisy ass flashlights. Immediately after entering the house, we both picked up on the fact that it was like 90 degrees in there, which was odd as it was a September night in the mid-70s. 
There was no graffiti or anything anywhere. In fact, it was relatively empty besides a few pieces of furniture that were clearly not worth taking along. It seemed we were the first to enter the house, shockingly, or at least from the back. We went upstairs to the main floor from the little den area and continued cranking the flashlights. That's when we heard the slightest crack in the floorboards from right above us. We both jumped. I tugged for Luke to leave, but he told me the place is old as hell. It's just house noises. I stopped cranking the flashlight at this point, and I urged Luke to do the same, but he only called me stupid for suggesting something so ridiculous. So then far, there was another minutes, crack in the floorboards oh, from above us. Uh, let's go, you guys. We can do it. We began walking upstairs. I didn't want to go up there, but I was not about to stay down there alone. I followed behind him to the upstairs. There was a door that led to a room right above where we were standing. Oh my god. I begged him not to open it, but he must have just wanted to be the big, tough older brother. He began to reach for the doorknob while still cranking the noisy flashlight, but then he stopped. I was confused. I could see in the dark he was moving his ear up against the door, listening for something. Silence. No. Then, the most deafening, nightmare-inducing moment of my life. A single bang on the door from the other side sent my brother staggering into the wall in pain, covering his ear. We dropped the flashlights and ran straight out the back door and back home. We were so loud when we got back that our parents found us out. We told them what happened, but they naturally didn't care and grounded us both for a week. Two nights later, I woke to the sound of something from outside my window and a glare of brightness sneaking in through my slightly opened blind. I said, okay guys, I'm tick I chickened out already. Oh my god. Time. Okay, so it is oh, 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay. Okay. Now it's Kelly's turn. So, as she chicken out. Let's put the video. Hold on. Do it because I'm really good at recording and that's that way. Oh my god, oh my god. Ready, Kevin? Alright, so we're going to watch. Really oh, put the camera on there. Alright, so we're going to do this one right here. That one. Alright, ready, Kevin? Advertisement. Some warm ups, which is advertising. Please, okay. please don't watch this. Kevin's like I. kind of freaked out right now. Okay, tell me when the video starts. And it's starting now. Here, I'll do it. Chelsea. Alright, let's go. So, that's my turn. To maximize our time together because she was still in school. My grandfather had recently purchased a Dodge Sprinter van for his business and my car was being serviced overnight, so I got to drive the van. Ooh, Chelsea and I that. loved the nights we got to take the van because it usually had the back seats installed and the tinted windows meant we could have some privacy, which is great for teens who still live at home. That night, we only had one row of seats in the back, just behind the driver and passenger. Chelsea and I parked near each other like we always did and worked our evening shift, closing the store with a few of our co-workers. We all leave Alex, together and I help the manager lock up because the glass doors need to be aligned properly for the lock to engage. It's early March in Pennsylvania, and it's still very cold outside, so Chelsea usually starts her car to warm it up and then sits with me as my car warms up. When I get to the vehicles, her car is idling and she's already in the van. Crazy. I don't even realize that I still have the keys and I never unlocked the doors. She sits with me, chatting for a while. She then sits on my lap and we kiss in the front seats, but... We decide it's too late and too cold to have a little fun in the back. Every night we drive home separately from work while talking on the phone. She usually gets home first and I stay on the line while she walks up her long driveway in the dark. That night I made it home first for some reason and I knew I had a lot of stuff to carry in so when I'm close to home I tell her that I'll call her in a little bit. She asked me to stay on the line because she's almost home and she doesn't like walking past the dark bushes next to her driveway. I stay on the phone and fumble with all of my things I'm carrying out of the van. I know I locked and armed the van because as I was using the key fob to lock the vehicle I dropped a few things while struggling to keep the phone to my ear. 
The motion lights have illuminated the whole area, so I'm able to see everything that I dropped. We both make it inside safely, and we also decide not to stay on the phone because she had school in the morning. I begin to doze off almost immediately in my bedroom. I lived with my grandparents who built a house to accommodate for my grandfather's aging parents suffering from Alzheimer's. My Alex already Alex already chickened out, guys. Um, that means I win! No? No. That's your video. But, but Kevin said that you chickened out. I chickened out because that's not my video. I'm scared. Okay, so, so that's supposed to be your video, so you already chickened out, so. No, it's supposed to be Kevin's video. I know, but you already chickened out, so. So, so Kevin, so that has, was to, your Kevin video. has to remind you his video. Here, let me see. Because it's not even been the scary part. I know, but still, because since you chickened out, one of us has to chicken out, then. No. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. Just let, uh, let Kevin finish the video. No, because you already chickened out, right? No, you chickened out of your video. I the know, one. but here you chickened out. That's Kevin's video. I chickened out watching his. Oh. So, Kevin, remind you. Alright. You know what? I'm going to try to, like, I'm going to try to, like, be brief. Go. Go. Come on, Alex. Oh. I'm really scared of Minus 10 sorry. seconds. Three, I can't do this two. Come on, Kevin. Go. Oh, these eyes are scary. Minus Tomorrow. 10 seconds. The driveway runs parallel to a daylight basement that has two garage doors, an entrance door, and the French doors to my bedroom. I'm falling asleep as all of the motion lights finally turn off and now my room is completely dark. It wasn't even 20 minutes later when I'm jarred awake by the alarm sirens of the van. All of the motion lights are on and the flashing lights of the van's alarm are filling my room. I left the key fob upstairs in the main part of the house, so I run upstairs to silence the alarm. In the kitchen, as I'm grabbing the fob, my grandfather and his guy, boxers, scary, bro. my great-grandmother in her nightgown, and I in my boxer briefs all meet in the dark. My grandfather grunts as he sees me grabbing guys. the fob, but what my granny said sent shivers down my spine. She basically asked why the hell I was running around outside at this time of night. I wasn't outside. I explained that I was sleeping and she insisted that I was outside making the van alarm. My great grandparents bedroom sits above the garage doors looking down over the driveway and the van. I'm assuming she's confused, she has Alzheimer's after all. The goosebumps from her exclamation prompted me to grab a knife from the butcher block anyway and my grandfather oh my followed God. with a baseball bat. We both walk outside warily, in our boxers, in the cold but highly illuminated and loud, dead of night. The van is still going crazy. The interior lights are all flashing and I remember that specifically because I'd never Katie? seen a car alarm do that. Oh my gosh, she's outside. We silence the alarm. Alright, so Kevin wins?